Hey, what's up? I'm Dickeroni and Cheese, and welcome to Jackass. Just kidding. This is uh, Pokemon Pearl. So last time we left off, we had to go talk to Professor Rowan, because we used one of his Pokemon in a battle. We probably shouldn't have done that. So we just have to run from here to Sandrum Town, and hopefully we don't get in too many battles along the way. Starly. This one's male, because it has a bigger uh, white spot on its head. The females have a smaller one. One of the Pokemon with gender like differences, I guess. But I'm, I'm gonna probably catch a Starly, probably this episode, I think. Cause like I said before, Staraptor, favorite Pokemon. We'd have to come up with a nickname for the Starly, and of course for this Turtwig as well. So that's something to think about. Turtwig, I was probably gonna go with Vine Street Expressway, cause it's like a grass type, so like Vine Street, Vine Whip, kind of makes sense. I don't think Turtwig learns Vine Whip. Um, but also because it's a turtle, and turtles are slow, and traffic makes Vine Street Expressway slow. So one more tackle looks like it should finish up this Starly. We should get some experience. Not too much though because it's only level 2. Which I think in this game is... No, I think in this game, eggs hatch at level 1. But I think in the wild, level 2 is as low as it gets. So, Sandrum Town is right up here. Ah, nice. We made it before we had to battle anyone. So, Dawn is gonna go take us to Professor Rowan, I believe. Oh, there you are. Please, come with me. The professor is waiting. So, we're gonna get chewed out by this old guy. This is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Good. Exclamation point. What the? Oh, it's you, Dick. That old guy, he's not so scary so much as he is totally out there. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter, Dick. I'm out of here. See you later. So he just runs off. How? What was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. So now I gotta go talk to the professor. Da, da, da. Finally, you've come. Dick, was it? Let me see your Pokemon again. Da, da, da. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give that Turtwig to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yeah, and we said Vine Street Expressway is what I was gonna name it. I've actually, I've never been on the Vine. Um, whenever I had to go in the city, I usually took like 76, or like Broad Street. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. Your friend Clint told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I'd like to entrust you with Turtwig. I'm so glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to- Oh, I just can't say it! She'd have to beat us up, is what she'd have to do. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want you to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record the data on all the Sinnoh Pokemon for me? Of course. Hmm. Good answer. Dick obtained the Pokedex. The Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. Probably not gonna meet every Pokemon. I've got one too. When you walked up when you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 years, even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that in this world there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go, Dick, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokedex the excuse me, the Pokemon that I used for the first time was a Piplup. If you would have chosen a Piplup at the lake, we'd have taken the same Pokemon now. But if I chose a Piplup, she would have chosen a Chimchar. So, not that it matters, but anyways, I'm done. I also helped the Professor add po pages to the Pokedex. In a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Dick. So that goes Dawn, prancing away. Now she has technically... Oh wait, she's gonna talk to us some more. Okay, Dick, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer, and as a professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. 
building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's a place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. This building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Dick, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right. Dick, don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor around with the Pokemon? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Poké Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. So, uh, in future generations, uh, the Poké Center no longer exists. It's just, like, a little section inside the Pokémart. Or, er, I had that backwards. The Pokémart no longer exists. It's a little section in the Pokémon Center. So we're going to give our Turtwig to Nurse Joy. She's going to heal him up. Happy boy. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon at full health. We hope to see you again. That's like, that's really rude if you think about it. Like, she hopes my Pokemon get hurt. So, up ahead, Dawn is supposed to teach us how to catch a Pokemon. But like I said before, Pokemon Master, I already know how to catch a Pokemon. So I'm going to buy two Pokeballs so I can catch a Starly and Ride 201. It really should only take one, but just in case it fails, I bought a second. So let's go talk to our mom. We're on Route 201. Let's just hop down. Oh, I probably- I, I could have avoided that grass if I wanted to, but we didn't hit anything, so. And we're back at home. Welcome home, Dick. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest here. Oh, so she heals our TikTok for us, so you didn't need to really go to the Pokemon Center. What's up, Dick? Da, da, da. Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear. Go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. Dick, I've got something that you'll find useful. I obtained the journal. Put the journal in the key items pocket. That's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it and you'll be able to remember what you did last. I think oh, starting the episode with the journal open would be a good idea. Like, give you a little refresher of what happened last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yup, Dick. I'll be right. I'll be all right by myself. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new situations, it makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I'd like to see the kinds of Pokemon you caught, dear. Excuse me. Is my little Clint here? Oh no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Dick will deliver that to him. Won't you, Dick? I mean, alright, just volunteer me. Oh, really? You do that for me? Dick, please take this to Clint for me. Dick obtained the parcel. And I think in the parcel is two town maps. Uh, bye bye, Dick. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. No, my boy, he'll probably head straight to Jubilee City. Okay, please take that to my Clint. But yeah, it has two town maps. And your boy Clint is like, yo, I only need one dog, so you can have the other. So we get a town map that way, which is pretty cool. Yeah, the, the journal is a neat item as well, which I think they like discontinued after uh, Platinum. I think Platinum had the journal, but it like tells you what you did the last time you played and like what the date was and stuff. So this is a Bidoof. I'm gonna just tackle spam it until, I think we should level up if we beat this Bidoof. I think it's gonna be, ah, that looks like a four hit. Bidoof tackle, and of course, that goes 95% accuracy, so there's like a 1 in 20 chance that it'll miss. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us. I'm gonna try and not spam the A button as much as I do in a normal playthrough, because like, uh, I guess you can probably hear that. Let me see. Yeah, you, you can probably hear when I press the A button. The mic's picking it up. Oh, of course our attack misses. Alright, so this level 3 bite have got us down to less than half health. That's, that's a little shameful, but I'm sure it's uh, not at all an omen to the, how well our Poku is going to go. There we go, Vine Street Expressway level 6. Alright, so I'm just going to run back and forth here until I find a Starly. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> So it's level two. All right. Hopefully we don't just straight up 
kill it with this tackle. Alright, uh, riled us, so now we're gonna do two-third damage. I still think that would knock it out, so I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. If he growls us again, I guess I'd feel comfortable using Tackle one more time. I could always just crit and not uh, unfortunate. So when you throw a Pokeball, just spam A. Oh, crap. A. And that usually works. That was one, two, three. Stars! There we go. Got a Starly. Now what's the nickname of Starly? Usually with a large flock, it is barely noticeable when alone. Its cries are very strident. And there you can see its little footprint. It's a Starling Pokemon, normal flying, one foot tall, 4.4 pounds. Pokedex is pretty useful that way. So let's see. You can name it Zephyr, because like uh, a Zephyr is a gust of wind, and there is like the Zephyr badge. And it's a cool name. One befitting a, a Starly. Alright, so let's go heal up our Pokemon. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center Story Time. Uh, yes. Uh, your choice can heal your Pokemon. Um, and then... I think I'll end the episode right as I get into Jubilife City. Sounds like a good time to me. Although it is... It's, it's almost 10 minutes now, I think. So it's like... Should I really go that far? Because I don't want to make it like a 20 minute episode, you know? Oh, that's right. I ha Dick, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. Yeah, but I caught one. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? Oh, that's something I gotta do. I gotta look at uh, Maestro Expressway and Zephyr's natures. Make sure they're not, like, trash. I'll buy you for a period. I don't think I can speed up this, uh, little thing right here. Yeah, here you see Dawn using her Piplup fight. Pound. Piplup used pound. Half damage. That's respectable. She's gonna throw a Pokeball. It's right there under item last use. Ah, whatever. I think she gives us 10. If we would have bought 10 at the Pokemart, we would have got a Premier Ball, so. Starly would have looked all nice. Except he broke out of the first Pokeball, so. Not too nice, I guess, because he would have been in a normal Pokeball. Bidoof was caught. I don't think that registers Bidoof in our Pokedex, but I could check. See? Isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. This is because a healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get along- also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using Pokemon's move. Okay, Dick. To get you started, I'll give you five Pokeballs. Alright, so I only get five. But we only have four slots left in our, uh, party, so it's not so bad. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. So I said I was going to see if Baidoof's in our Pokedex. He is not. Not caught. Even though Don just caught it in front of us. So... I should probably put Zephyr up front and get him up a little, level, a little bit in level. This is a lonely nature. Um, don't remember what that does. I'll look it up after this. Ooh! Jolly Turtwig. I mean, that's like... That would be nice if Turtwig and Torterra, like, if their speed wasn't, like, terrible. But we, we got ourselves a very fast turtle and a, a loner. Yeah, Jolly is minus special attack plus speed. Although, I think the first grass move Turtwig learns is, like, absorb. So that, that might be a little bad. I'm gonna Jolly Nature for that. It's wild Bidoof. Goes after you can, you can take this guy. Unless you can't, then I'll have to switch you out. Uh, maybe not. Let's see how much that does. Okay. I don't, did I buy any potions? I don't think I did. I don't think I would drew 
the one that's in the box. You get a potion in the box in this game, right? It's like every game, I think. Yeah, no potions. I defuse tackle. Find Street Express way to use tackle. Oh, this has gotta be like one, maybe two. I'm thinking one. Boom, Baidu down. Alright, so Zephyr Guru gained 12 experience. I think we're just gonna have to switch train Zephyr for a little bit here. I think we can run into a Shinx on this route, and Shinx is pretty cool, but I, I don't really think I'm going to use him. See so yeah, we need 36 more to level up, I think, is what I said. Oh, our first Pokemon battle. With a trainer. You're a Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so we must battle. Alright, so uh, that battle took way too long. It was like five minutes by itself or something. And um, we did manage to level up Zephyr and Vine Street Expressway. I'm, I'm just gonna cut it out because all that Starly did was use Growl. And then so I ran back to the Pokemon Center and now we're here and we're gonna have to battle this lady and then we can get into Jube Life City and end the episode. So hopefully she doesn't have a Starly that only uses Growl. Hey, doof. I think Zephyr can take it. I don't think we have as high an attack stat as Bidoof as a start, like while we're a star. I think Staravia has a higher attack stat. But we're obviously not a Staravia yet, so. Hmm. I think we can win unless this Bidoof gets a crit. I'm gonna risk it. If this Baidu flips on one, I'm gonna be upset. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Lots of experience for Zephyr. Whew. Level four. Here we go. Eleven attack. That's right. Another Baidu. So I'm gonna hit keep battling, but then I'm gonna switch right away. And uh, the reason for that. It is just so Zephyr gets some of the experience for taking down the Spidey. So now we're gonna switch in Vine Street Expressway. Who can tank whatever this level 3 Baidu is gonna have to shout. Yeah, cool. So I, I know this uh, stuff's moving a little slow right now, but that's because like we only know tackle on each of our Pokemon. As we get like more moves, uh, it should get more interesting. I think uh Pearl, Diamond and Pearl, mostly Pearl, because it's far superior. It has like lots of interesting story and, and whatnot. So one more tackle should finish this up. Alright. There we go. We just gotta make a break for it. Starly. Oh, great. Do I don't wanna waste my time? Just run. One thing I don't understand is like Starly, Staravia, Staraptor, their color is brown. Oh, is this another battle? Yeah, it is. Their color in the Pokedex is listed as brown. But like. I, I don't see any brown on them. Like, they're shiny to me as brown. Regular, they look like black and white. Ah, so he has a Shinx. So this is a... I think Shinx gets Intimidate. Nope. That's only Luxio and Luxray. And same with Staravia and Staraptor. They get Intimidate. But not necessarily uh, Starly. So... Alright, so our defense fell. That's a lot better than the attack, because we can still take out the Shinx. And still, we're like level 7, so our defense is pretty decent on a level 7 territory compared to the attack of a level 5 Shinx. 
It's the unboosted. We're still more do still doing more damage to the Shinx. Ah, oh, of course we missed the tackle. All right, they did another layer. Um, so what was that bring us from? Like half defense now, and that was two thirds defense. So they shouldn't be doing too much more. Okay, correct. That kind of makes up for missing the tackle. All right, so this might hurt if we miss this tackle. Doesn't look like we did, so goodbye, Shinx. That should be a good chunk of experience for Zephyr. And a, a decent, like, chip experience, I guess, for uh, my Street Expressway. But Zephyr leveled up. Nice. Ooh, Quick Attack. I think in this generation, Quick Attack has more base power than Tackle. Let me check that once we get to Jubilee. Alright, so finally, we're just about free. Alright, there's an item I'm going to get. And I stopped running in the grass because I just want to get to Jubilife. I don't want to get in any more battles. Excellent. So this is Jubilife City. Ooh, Dawn has something to say. Hi Dick, are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you'd feel a lot safer here to catch some more. In Jubilife City there's Trainer School, which, well, you know. Dick, you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh yes, Clint went to the Trainer School earlier. Okay, bye now. So yeah, next episode we'll go to this trainer school and uh, we'll level up Zephyr and Vine Street Expressway some more. But yeah, let's check right now. Tackled is 35, Quick Attack is 40, so we'll just move Quick Attack up right there. But that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time.